Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We kicked Tyler out. He, he got, gone. He gone, but he's a, uh, no, he's got a real job. He's at the fire department. So Tyler, we got your back. Today we're going to discuss something that gets overlooked. It's backcountry energy systems. And I'm not talking about the commodity of like food and backcountry food. Which is important. That's a whole nother video. This is like behind the scenes look of how we film some stuff in the backcountry and keep our batteries charged as well as all the devices and things and what we have found. This company, Dark Energy, they're out of Salt Lake City. Big surprise. How many? Just like everyone else. Yeah. This is the Poseidon Pro 2. Latest and greatest. Yes, sir. And the thing I like about it is it's got more watts. It's got 10,200 milliamp hours. What does that mean? That means that I can charge my mobile device from about 0% to 100% two and a half, three times. So when I head out elk hunting or anything backcountry, I always have at least one of these. If I'm going to stay out longer than two or three days, then I carry two of these. And I'm gonna explain that here shortly why I bring two and my system for that. The other option they have that's new is the Nano. It's yeah, pretty sleek. Pretty slick or low pro for sure. You can kind of put that in your cargo pocket and run a wire to whatever you need, charge real quick. And if you're one of those people who likes to charge your phone with just out a wire, this will work as well. Clean, kind of nice, kind of handy. And it's got 3000 milliamp hours, so it's a good option as well. I don't think just relying on these two for an extended stay, I would still go double Poseidons, but for two or three endeavors, this is light, weighs nothing. This is what I'm bringing. I usually keep them in some sort of waterproof. This is absolutely waterproof and got molly if you want to put on the outside. I like to put it in the inside of my pack. Same. But I will tell you this, Jeff, this stuff's drop proof, waterproof. It completely encloses. You are not gonna break this. The original Poseidon I have is I still use it to this day. It's holding charges. I oh. would conclude the Poseidon Pro is Dan proof. That's Dan <laughs> is hard on gear. Over here on the side button is a little light. If you press that, you got a little flashing light, which is nice for, oh, I wanna run a flashlight, which Maybe some people want to do that. Over here, you can press this button and you can see how many charges you have left. So right now I only have one light glowing. I would want all four lights fully charged before I head out to the back country. Looks like you have a little hook here. You can put some P-cord in there and hang that from your TP or something like that. I like that feature for sure. Definitely, and speaking of features, let's show them the most important part of this system. This is the Spectre and it folds up into nothing. And I've been a huge fan of Goal Zero. In fact, I've invested in Goal Zero, not their stocks, but like I own a lot of their stuff. And yeah, look at that. That folds up and it fits in the side of my hoodlum and then I can put stuff in between it. So it's a huge, like my goal zero is just like, and it's heavy. And then I have a triple panel, even heavier. So this is so much weight savings for me and it's still 15 watt. And I'm gonna bring two of these and still weigh less than one goal zero. So I'll have double, which is nice. So when I'm out and we have like a, a base camp or a spike camp, I can have at camp this charging up one battery bank and take the other battery bank with me as an insurance policy and literally switch and swap them out day after day. The thing that you need to charge, that's a good question. So I already said it, my inReach for comms back home as well as emergencies and then my mobile device, I'm running Onyx all day. I'm using it to look at waypoints, drop waypoints, maneuver, guide and navigate. Plus I run tracking to see where the elk trails are at. I mean, my phone battery goes and I take photos and video. So my mobile device is so important when sure. elk hunting, especially the Onyx piece, I need that fully charged every day that I'm out there and keeping the Garmin charged isn't too hard of a challenge because I only really communicate at night. Uh, but as far as that, that's all my charging responsibilities. Jeff has way more responsibility. I have been a solo elk hunter for so long and I've had GoPros rigged over my shoulder, GoPros on the head, other kind of action cams. And to keep those things charged day in and day out, especially when you hit record and you forget and it runs all day, you got to charge it up every night. These are the options for you. But what if you have a camera dude who's dedicated to being a filmmaker like Jeff, what's this look like for you? Yeah, so it depends. Either we're running from a truck, you know, uh, day camping, or we're backpacking in. If we're backpacking in, I am definitely bringing a 15 watt solar panel with one, maybe even two Poseidon Pros. I'm probably gonna have anywhere from two to four um, 
backup batteries for my cameras depending on the situation but i always want to have a couple fully charged emergency batteries and then a fully or a kind of running gun to dedicated to batteries that i can plug in my usb-c with the poseidon pro right into the body of the camera and that'll trickle charge as we're running and gunning the last thing i want to say guys is i have been working with dark energy for only about a month but i have been a customer of theirs for the last five years leaning on the poseidon to charge up my action cams, my cell phones, my Garmin's, everything in the backcountry. I believe in their battery bank. It's very robust. It's bulletproof. It's waterproof. And you need that insurance policy in the backcountry, at least for your communication systems. Hope this helps you decide. We do have a discount code with Dark Energy. It is elk shape. It'll get you free shipping. And hopefully we covered enough information here so you can make more informed decisions.